Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Hashtag Embellish With Us Wednesdays, hosted by Gigi's Cool Creations and Marianne's Craft Corner. So, I have something a little bit different to show you guys. I have been busy stitching my own ruffle trims, and this time, instead of using fabrics and tools that I like to normally do, I have used my strip of papers. So, I will show you. You know when you guys do a lot of project and you're left with all of these top border strips? So, that's one example. Here's another example of the Sunny Days paper. Here's another example from the Buenos Dias collection. Here's another one. Here's another one from the Garden Party. That's from Buenos Dias as well. Or if you don't have strips of leftover papers like this, you are also welcome to cut your own paper to do this. So I had a six by six paper of this pattern and I really, really wanted to use this to match my apricotty color crepe paper. See? So I chopped them into like about one inch strip or it might be a little bit wider than one inch and I took it to my sewing machine. I layered my piece of crepe paper and a strip of paper on top like this. Then I started stitching a little bit up to here. Then I started folding the bottom uh, crepe paper and the top paper together to make all of these shapes and then I just continuously stitched it. And because this is a double-sided paper, if you turn around, you can still see the black and white pattern. So I can use either side to make um, border, you know, to decorate the journal pages. Uh, you can also use this to make little embellishments by cutting into little squares. You can also use this to make your bag toppers by cutting it, uh, measuring the bag size. For example, if I were to use this size bag and I wanted to make a bag topper, then I just have to like put it at the top and measure it and cut here. And then I can add my words and other embellishments to make a bag topper. But this time, instead of making this to use as just an embellishment, I have also decided what if I roll this and gift it. So this is one of the uh, stitching I did. With, so this is my paper crepe roll, well crepe paper roll. Yeah, whichever, however you like to call it. I made another one using the Sunny Days paper. I matched it with the pink crepe paper. I really, really love the way this looks. And I, I think I love it more because the folded uh, width of these different bits, they're all different and they're a bit wonky as well. So I really like that uniqueness and you can do it with any of your leftover border strips. Don't cut this a whole bit away because you can like tuck it under another one and stitch it, you know, as well. So I keep all of my strips of paper. They all have great use, you guys. So I also did it in this pattern paper here from the Maggie, De Maggie Day, not Maggie Days, <laughs> Maggie Home Sunny Days. And I matched it with this sky blue color or ocean blue, however you like to call it. And I used my gold thread after rolling it together like this. Isn't that pretty? You just have to tie around the gold thread several times and tie a bow and you have a gift item. I really, really love this idea. And I also had this minty color and I had a little bit of this garden party paper left. So I cut it into strips and stitched away. So I have this to gift in the future. And this is from the Sunny Days paper collection as well. It is a paper that had the peaches and the oranges so I matched it with this color here. 
and look at how it looks when it's rolled. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. And with the gold thread, it just completes it. Here's another one. So it's like this one, which I have rolled like this. Isn't that pretty? I really, really love it. And as I was making these, I was thinking, I need to go find some more cray paper, but I haven't run out yet, so I'm not going to buy it yet. But look at this, isn't that pretty? So you have a lovely gift idea, and you can also cut these and make embellishments with. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys for the hashtag embellish with us Wednesday. And so make sure you guys save all your strips of paper and crepe paper is such a um, economic way to create things. So why not give this a go if you have a sewing machine? Thank you so much for joining us and make sure you go check out all of the hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. Many people are joining us and we are all getting inspired by each other. Thank you. Bye.